somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. That's the Appleton Oak. This is Diamond Dave Damone. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight we are going to keep it going with an awesome franchise we have been watching, The Haunting of Hill House. This is episode seven called Eulogy. It's been hitting it out of the park, guys. I can't say enough good things about this show. I just want to get right into it. My mind is still bent after the last one. It was great. I'm hoping we get some more of what we had in the last one in this one. I think we will. Yeah, it's just the layers keep coming off uh, in this series, one episode after the next. And uh, the, the last episode in particular was just that ender. captivating, <laughs> and I can't wait to see what episode seven brings. So with that being said, let's go! So it's okay. Sorry, that's all we had on hand. And you know, as well, you know, if there's blood on him, we have to take him. How much longer is this going to take? The hand. What happened to the hand? I got to get back to my kids. Kids are fine. I just checked on them. They're with Alan Janet. You know, you can leave whenever you want. I told you that, right? You know, I've told you that. Oh, he's trying to cover his, his backside. Yeah. I'm not under arrest. You are not. And your wife... She's with the medical examiner right now, and it's a mess. We haven't even talked about the other body. That didn't have anything to do. Whoa, other what? body? The one in the basement that Luke saw? Maybe. Talk about what happened last night. Yes, please. We were waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Impatiently. We can talk now and get this over with. Sit tight. It's no trouble. It's making them think about it. What kind of mind game is yeah, this? The old, the old cop tricks. <laughs> Hey, I want to. I want to talk and confess. Well, you just take a take a rest. Get you take some cream and sugar. Coffee's gonna be cold by then. You think about what you're gonna say. <laughs> you know, it's a rental. Not a lot of choices. Oh, now he's really talking to her. I put this order in two days ago. Calla lilies. You promised me calla lilies. You're bringing me calla lilies. You're really a grandfather. That's right. How come we've never met you? <laughs> met Jaden a while back. I don't remember that. Oh, well, you were, um, you were really little. Gosh, she has to be at least five or six, right? You need to pick up four bouquets. Okay, I'll go in a minute, but can we just... You're already on your way. I have to shower and change my clothes. I mean, I didn't bring any of my... Okay. <laughs> 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 I know you're upset with him because he took Steve's money, but he was only looking out for you and business. Service starts at 10. It's 8.30. We're not open yet. Ouch. If you want to lecture someone, lecture Theo. Oh, this, oh, this dynamic's going to come to a head real quick, too, since there's no resolution. Where she gets that from? I needed my space, but I'm not yep. sure I'll bear with her. Today especially. Never seen a storm make a mess like this. <clears throat> it really Just missed that you did guys. happen with all those windows. Yeah, and that was all. Because he didn't really react to it when it happened, so that was like, oh, maybe it's just a dream, and he knows it. Yeah. Dad, this wall feels squishy. What? See? Oh, Whoa. fake, fake wall. Mark it. A little mold, maybe. No way, all this came from a storm. Busted pipe, most likely. It shouldn't be, really shouldn't be. I mean, we took care of all. If it is, it's okay. I can fix it. Gosh, the one character of this whole show I think we've been maybe not talking enough about is the house itself. Yeah. Right? What does that mean? It means we got water pooling all the way down here, three floors down. That's a really bad. Motherfucker. <sighs> yeah. You're going to go Father broke. Mucker. Really, Dad? I need to start saying stuff like that. <laughs> oh, is this maybe where he finds one of the bodies, maybe? Maybe? Yep. No, 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 no. The old black mold. Oh, something's going to show up in that picture. Stevie, why don't you go on upstairs? I'm going to help. This black mold is dangerous to breathe. Go along now. It's interesting that a house that old, they would have drywalled the basement. Mm. Do you hear that? Something clawing in there. Scratching and clawing yep. its way out. Has to be mouse. Maybe rats. 
Could be what happened to the pipes. When rats get thirsty enough, they'll see through just about anything. Oh, you see the face? I couldn't see it. It was... <laughs> that was a face. Oh, shadow, yeah. Show him. First thing I'd be doing is, guys, you see, you see this? this? You're seeing it, right? <laughs> I remember when Luke lived here. I was really hoping that it would work. Thought if anybody could, you know, just keep him on track, it'd be your sister. He's uh, he's looking a lot better now. <laughs> She's so hungover. <laughs> <laughs> fucked up last night, Daddy. No. I mean, I really, I fucked up. They're blurring the lines with us. And if I make it through today alive, I'm going to have to pack this all up and find a new place to live. And I don't think Shirley is ever going to talk to me again. It didn't look that bad, though. Uh, I should have made more of an effort with you. Wow, Theo not being sarcastic for one. I start somewhere. That's a good start. You were always good at that. the board. Oh. Assessing <laughs> the damage. Where is it? Where's the damage? Second floor hallway behind the library wall, master bedroom. All right, here we go. Back to the house. Now. Yeah. Let's see what's what. I've got four plans. None of them match. This house is schizophrenic. Some of them are just scribbles, and though the work records are a mess. Well, I can't flip this house if it's rotting with mold. And if I can't flip it in a couple of months. I, I, I know, I know, I know, I know. I will, um, I'll combine these plans into one master blueprint, uh, draw up something that represents the actual piping, and then we'll find out how fucked we really are. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Every house flipper back in the day. <laughs> Moisture coming from somewhere. Somewhere upstairs the way it's spread. Have you actually looked everywhere? Everywhere but one room. There's one room we don't have a key. I checked gonna be everywhere like, but one room. You never took the door off the hinge? I, I don't see any droppings. Have you actually seen rats? I keep hearing them scratching here. Them. Are you sure it's rats? My budget's stretched as it is, so maybe you can... Give me a quote for fan rental. It's a big job for one person. Well, I've got help. What do you say, Steve? Yeah. Yeah, I'll help. It's a tough gig for a kid. Oh, he's not a kid. All right. You wish you'd had better role models? Better marriage to emulate? We were solid, babe. We were. And those last few days don't count. That wasn't us. More nuggets. Mm -hmm. Gosh, it has to be the last episode where we just see it all. It just everything just unloads. <laughs> Get all the stories at once. Luke's been holding up decent. So He's been far. doing really well, considering the situation. He doesn't want to make today about him. It's okay to just sit, just be with him. So, uh, there's a lot of people here. Give me the story. I want to know. <laughs> the story is he was trying to help her find vodka, and she made the move on him. That's why he was like, whoa, it's not how it looks. And it's why she, was she did so she make blame. the move, though. That's why she's taking so much blame for yeah. it, saying how bad she screwed up. Mix beer and tomato juice and power it down. Does it work? Not as well as a shot of smack. They were saying <laughs> oh, the best geez. hangover remedy is heroin. I or was she talking about the fight? Where she effed up. Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> you thought you'd what exactly? She's oh, you, you didn't tell I'm me that your sister rich. died. I just support you. And if, if I'd known, if I wanted you to know that, I would have told you that. I'm sorry. Oh, my day. <laughs> <laughs> Theo. My sweet boy. None of none of us should be here. I know what you mean. Well, we're gonna make a tent over this whole area, and then we'll bring the fans in. There's the scratching again. Do you hear that? Yeah. That mold guy telling me there's no rats down here. What a pro, huh? <laughs> See, Steve, your dad thinks that all this water is coming from that red room upstairs. So, what's next? Hanging plastic, mm -hmm. and then we ventilate it. Ventilate it. What? Be safe down here, okay? <gasps> Good job, seeing, I wonder. Ah, teasing us. <laughs> With a cheery smile and a wave of the hand, she has wandered into an unknown land and left us dreaming how very fair it needs must be since she lingers there in you. Oh, you, who the wildest yearn for the old time step. He was really back there. 
she was driving me to rehab. She looked at me and she said, you go in there and you bring my brother back. Oh, shit. Bring my brother back. I was born 90 seconds before no, but she was always my big sister. All right. No. What'd you see? Yeah, what was on the What plans? did you see? The missus do these? Yeah. I'm sure it's... No, I'm not. I gotta ask her. Probably ain't my place, but maybe she could use a little time away from the house. Time away from the house? I think you might be right. It's probably not your place. <laughs> I saw that coming. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> you know, my, my mother worked in this house. Hell up. She was kitchen staff. She she never liked her house. She'd come home uh, sometimes after a long shift or a night shift. And she'd be scattered, you might say. Towards the end, she'd wander into the woods at night barefoot. I swear I could hear her out there giggling like a schoolgirl in love out there in the cold. Talking low like... Dude, he's smiling way too much. Yeah. This is all really messed up. Like, that's sleep not a normal that story. Too, so yeah, well, scattered. The house was messing her up. Well, the house got to his mom and made her. Miss Hill made her keep on working, even with the baby coming. You know, Claire didn't complain, cause she's a strong woman. She's a towering woman. Does she have a miscarriage in the girl that maybe maybe that's that what Luke he's getting saw to out in the woods. Abigail, my little girl's stillborn. Yep. I'm so sorry. And Claire is a brave woman. And these nightmares, they had her down in a corner, shaking so bad I thought she'd seize up dead. God, I'm sorry. So one night, she's cleaning the master bedroom up there. This is before Hazel passed. She's cleaning Hazel's room. And, uh... Dude, this monologue. Yeah. <laughs> a baby crying. That was my first little girl's cry. Told Miss Hill, you can fire us. But once dinner's served, we leave. Come back in the morning for the dishes. <laughs> Never spend a minute inside after dark. Yeah, just superstitious at first. But here's the thing. It worked. No more nightmares. We stuck to it. And it's better. It's not my place. But if you find your missus is acting scattered, yeah, maybe a little time away would do the trick. From the oh. house, I mean. Okay, so he never did it. And it's kind of like him remembering he should have. Yep. Prayer's not really our thing, but I take your point. Each their own, I suppose. Okay, this is an interesting shot. Is he comparing? That's what I'm thinking, yeah. Are you guys hopping here? Gonna keep teasing us. <laughs> keep... Cut away. I gotta do a few things. I'll meet you there. Jesus, Cheryl. Today. Even today. Not everything's about you, Steve. He wasn't referring to today, or like himself. Yeah. Problems, we, we all do. But if there's one thing we can take away from today, it's that in the in the end, all you guys have is each other. Did Theo tell you what she did? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we all fuck up and we can be upset with each other. One day, yeah, it's not that easy. Wake up and it'll be too late. Stay the too fuck out of my business. <sighs> wow. Jeez. I didn't let the mold guy do the whole job, so he gave me some busted fans. This one's totally screwed. I'm gonna have to open it up. This is how we got the bandage oh, on his hand. Can you yeah. unplug it over yep. there? Oh, yeah, didn't unplug the right Trent, one. Trent, you should be in that box. Well, I mean, it's gonna turn off. Oh, there's oh. the imprint. Yep. Yep, there's the image. Damn! Oh, son of a bitch! Ha! Ah. Fuck! Dad? <laughs> oh, oh, that's a bad that one. That looks nasty. I told you to unplug the. I, I, I didn't. I unplugged it. I, I didn't. It's okay. It's okay. I unplugged oh. it. It's okay. It was an accident. Fuck! Oh, that's bad. Holy cow, that's bad. Listen, pal, why don't you go upstairs and play? I think I got this covered now. I want to help. It's okay. You've helped. 
I'm gonna need a big ass bandage. Yeah, that's bandage. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, for starters. Oh, he's oh, yeah, done. <laughs> see, that's what I would have done months ago. Pop the hinges. Or pop the lock, whatever. I mean, I get it's an antique, but still. Oh, so his hand is wrapped up, so he got it he got it fixed. I like the detail. It's, yeah, it's bleeding through. Bleed through, yeah. He's going to hit his hand with a hammer, I bet. Denied. Damn. Didn't even budge. Now he's just going to get pissed and start wailing at it. Fuck you! <laughs> there goes the hand. Yep. Ugh. Oh, God, you got to get that stitch, dude. Oh, there's a scar. Nice detail. You know, I've been to a... I shouldn't say a lot, enough funerals, and I've never seen this as a tradition. I've only seen it on TV. At a funeral. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, dude. Oh. Oh. Now, is he going to recognize her? The bent neck lady? Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's the mom. Is that the mom or is that Nelly? No, that was the mom on that one. Did you see her? No. It was, it was mom. It was oh. mom and Nelly. Hey, stop it. Oh, he's going to think yeah. that. You didn't because they're dead. They've all seen things, Luke. I know all about it. I write about it. Hell, I've seen things this week, but it's not real. It's not. Well, finally, people are going to start saying what they've seen. You've got to be vigilant. Get it together. Stop talking like a fucking crazy person. I want to bury you too, you understand? Okay. okay. You know, I'm glad Steve kind of mentioned that in a, in his own way, it's supportive, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. I'm just happy he didn't go the other route and be like, oh, you're, you're using. Yeah. Getting, you know, da 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 da, yeah. whatever. <sighs> oh, all right. We haven't had anything happen yet. Is nope. he going to see the... Here. Is he going to... Oh, she's standing... What the hell is him? this? What has she got? Something? It's a screwdriver. To his neck. Liv? Whoa. Liv. You? You? <laughs> Same thing happened to Henry Hill when he woke up. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I, I don't even know. What's going on with you? Nothing. You're holding a fucking screwdriver to my throat. No, I wasn't. <laughs> 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 I don't know what we have to do, but we have to do something. You're... What? Scattered. I'm what? I missed it. I was looking... Okay, so the plans oh, the, she drew, that's what the guy was saying, is that the plans were messed up. Yeah. I didn't know what this was. <gasps> oh, it's a puzzle. Wow. It looked familiar. You used the same shape dozens of times, over and over. It's the reveal. It's a footprint to our house, to our forever house. You just, you drew it again and again. I, I, I didn't. You'd have to juggle the kids and the house and... I'll manage. I just want you to be... Not crazy. <laughs> I didn't say that. Well, at least I was... I'm happy to be wrong. He did suggest for her to go. Yeah. I was thinking he didn't. I'm not sleeping through the night at all. I know. You're just tired. You just snuck up on me all of a sudden. But, um... I'll sort it out. <laughs> oh, dude... Oh boy. So this episode is very much all story. No scares. Not let's, yet. let's get ahead of there's ourselves still, still here. Still time. <laughs> the the mom jumping out of the coffin was pretty scary. Well, I guess that could yeah, that's considered. You did good. Finish you know, your drink. Say your goodbyes. You it's it's so weird in the for years if you don't want to. It's weird in the shots of the funeral parlor. It's like almost all the color feels like it's wiped out from the picture. It's all very dull. Everything is very dull, yeah. I see your mother every day. No, I have since she died. 
I'll let him. It's, it's pretty nuts. Yeah, it's, uh, for me, it's a coping mechanism. And you'd be surprised a lot of uh, widowers, uh, widows, who they do that. Okay, so he is aware, right? You don't have to feel crazy because sometimes... Big boys know things. the difference between what's real oh. and imaginary. Isn't that right, Dad? Before he gave him the hat. Uh-huh. I'm glad you're here, Dad. That scratch and mm -hmm. got it. Can't be mice, rats. It has to be like a skeleton, right? Uh, I at this point, I'll expect anything. Beetles, <laughs> Beetlejuice. Large, no, no, like large Beetlejuice. Uh, large, large bugs. Bugs. Beetlejuice. Little oh, shit. it's pushing. It's pushing through. Or was that just the bubbles from it? No, that was uh, the like the the moisture. God, there's even more behind it. I wonder if he's gonna find a whole new area to the basement. What do you just see? Oh, he saw something. I told you, it's the old speakeasy house. They buried somebody in the basement. Yeah, well, because the the police officer said there was a second body. They probably walled somebody up in there. Yep. Yep. Sure enough. Oh, yep. Good lord. I'm going to keep the children upstairs. Oh, so they found the body before everything happened with William Hill. Been missing since '48. Case went cold with the department. Widow had PIs looking for him for years after. I'd be down if he was here. All the wife. Yeah. Killed him and buried him in the wall. It looks like he bricked himself in. The tools were in there with him. Oh, that man, what? the scratches. I guess he had second thoughts. That was a mud board that he had in his hand. Oh, things. yeah. Uh, well, good news is Massachusetts doesn't require that you disclose you've had any death on the premises to any potential buyers. <laughs> <laughs> you folks have a good night now. So he mortared himself in, and then once it dried, you know, he probably lived for a few days, was yeah, trying to scratch his way yeah. out. You now, folks around town talk. They've always talked about this place. What's going to happen? That's a huge frame. Uh, what? He's going to ask Hooked him. It. <laughs> oh. At least a few of my kids sure think so. It's really nice meeting you. You too. Mm-hmm. Nobody's like that, gonna. That's such an interesting shot. The way God, they did I was, it. I was sure when they talked about prohibition earlier, they were leading us to like somebody was buried down there from that. But it was the. I mean, you know, it was like, the old owner. Listen, uh, Steve. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't talk, and I'm sorry I didn't listen, and I'm sorry I wasn't there. And it's the regret of my life. I'm so so sorry that I couldn't fix it. Why? Is, is he gonna say it? In his head. You fly safe. Got it. You too. The way they made it look like he was listening to mom. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay? Luke yeah, took the I money. Can't, I can't find my credit card, and the caterer's oh, got to be paid. no. You think it's you Luke? You took my car. Reception's over, Theodora. As far as Luke you're concerned, we're closed. He's taking his ass to the house. That's where Luke's gone. Took a credit card for gas and took the car. It was outside in my house like it always is, and now it's gone. Probably parked it somewhere else. You know where oh, I parked my car. My Luke. wallet's not in here. It was in here. He's going to the house. Dad knows. Has anybody seen Luke? He wanted to have a smoke. He went outside uh, about an hour ago. Well, did he come back? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Fucking hell! Can't even last one day? An hour. Probably already has a needle in his arm. Oh, jeez. He's at the house. It looks like a ash, dirt, bunch of That's stuff busted. Oh, oh bunch. Oh, no, she's going to kill someone. It's, it's okay. I can. What the hell is it? It was that sculpture of the future home. Oh, that's right. Forever home. Oh, you see oh, the shadow? Shadow shadows. Oh, look at that hand. Something. Something Are you coming. kidding me? It's the mom. They both saw it. Yep. That's the craziest thing. 
<laughs> oh no, she was gonna think oh, they did it. Yeah, she trashed her. <gasps> yep, she sees her crying. She thinks she's gonna. The sister did it. Yeah. Dad tried to stop it, right? Yep. She's gonna be even more pissed. First, you say your wife went out of town. I thought she did. Mm -hmm. To be with her sister. But we talked to Janet, and she never. I know. Anything you want to add to that? Not really. I thought she went out of town. She hadn't. That's all. I must have misunderstood. Your daughter Shirley says she woke you up because she was surprised to see mom in the kitchen. That's right. And she says that you ran up the stairs to the, uh, the red room. Oh. Did you finally get through? So what did you see when you got oh, to the gonna red room? It's going to tease us now, and it's yeah. going to end, isn't it? Nothing. That door's been locked since we moved in, so it was nothing. Shadows. It's, it's open. open. It's going to fade out, isn't it? Ah, there are. Yeah, yeah, they knew they were going to get us. Finally, at least we get to see. Ah, at least we got to see the door. Yeah, actually open. What a wow. series. Another great episode. And it just, it feels like it. I know I said it before, but it feels like it's really kicking into high gear where we're building to, towards the eventual big finish here. We're going to, I think we're finally going to get into the red room. We're going to see what happened. I, I'm hoping everything is explained and I hope it's done in such a way where it really lives up to what has been just a fantastic series uh, all the way around. I mean, the little touches they did, and I don't know if it'll make the cut or not, but when they're in the funeral parlor, it's like all the color and, and everything was just sucked out of that room. Everything looked very uh, flat and colorless, almost black and white to a point. So they do a lot of little touches in this series, whether it's with cinematography, with coloring, with the way the actors are delivering their lines. I mean, the guy in the basement, uh, Will Mr. Um, yeah, Mr. Dudley or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Will Hill. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he had a monologue, you know. That oh, was, that guy. That was that was huge down in the basement there. So it's just the way they find these different actors who can come in and just nail these lines is is really a, a testament to the casting uh, director that they had and the people that they brought in to make it all work. That being said, all that housekeeping taken care of. This episode was fantastic. The story is progressing. We're learning uh, more about the dad's uh, story and what he saw. And for my money, Luke is headed back to the Haunted Hill House. That's my bet. Yeah, uh, I'm still trying to process this episode, so my portion of this review is probably going to suck a little bit. Uh, <laughs> my first initial reaction without you know taking a moment to like absolutely think for a second Right now, in this moment, it was a little slow paced for my taste. Not saying that's a bad thing. I'm not knocking the episode at all. I mean, it it that was another foundational like episode to set up. I think the next two that are to come, or next three. I don't even know what more episode around <laughs> next three. Um, but uh, it, I am. I mean, I, my impatience. I'm trying to hold that back because I want more of the Theo and husband story and. We still haven't, in this episode, didn't get any acknowledgement of that random dude that Sh yeah, uh, Cheryl saw. saw. The table. Um, which is fine. I, I'm, again, I'm, just, I'm more intrigued to see that. I do uh, agree with you, Quinn, that I think, I think both of you said it. I agree with both of you that Luke is, he grabbed all that stuff, he took the car, and he's on, a way, on his way to that house. Mm -hmm. um, again, I... <laughs> My review is, I said, going to suck. Oh, uh, really good to see the red door finally open yeah. there as a cliffhanger. <laughs> yep. So now another little layer pulled back that I'm waiting. I'm hanging on to see. So uh, overall, still good. Just a little slow, slower pace for my taste. Yeah, I think this was definitely of the all the episodes that we've watched so far, the, the slowest as far as like, you know, keeping us on the edge of our seats. But I think it was very... Um, it was very important from a developmental standpoint. I mean, we finally got some real backstory on the house. Uh, the other thing that we know about the house is that it is the house that is making people mm. kind of have these mental issues. Earlier on, you know, we thought the mom had some issues and she passed her gifts down to Theo, you know, and, 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 and Nell had her things. And you're like, okay, is this a family thing? And even Steve in this episode says, you know, it's in our DNA. Like, it's in our genes. Steve thinks like it's their, their family's got some sort of, you know, you know, family history of mental health issues. When we learned that uh, the, the old owner of the house, Mr. Hill, literally, you know, bricked himself into the basement. <laughs> Okay, um, because he was going crazy. We learned that Mr. Dudley's wife 
um, went pretty much crazy working in the house to yep. the point where they said, hey, we're not even going to be here at night anymore, which explains, yep. you know, they, they said that earlier on yeah, they had the in the show. So we really learned about how impactful the house itself is being. Um, it's just, I want more explanation. Like the house is now its own character. It yeah. is. The, how the windows were smashing, the, the, uh, you know, the, the chandelier fell. Um, and so I, I have this mold just coming out of nowhere. Mold. Yeah. I have so many questions about the house, but it's going to be really interesting to see what, uh, what happens with Luke. I think he's headed to the house. Uh, I do want some answers. The random guy with the drink in the basement. <laughs> so, um, I'm guessing Cheryl at some point, maybe was thinking about or stepped outside her marriage. But um, again, as far as like edgy or seat, like huge reveals type stuff, this one might have been a little bit slower, but it was, you know, it was still a very good episode. Yeah, Mm -hmm. I mean, I do want to chime in too that we finally had both the dad and Theo seeing the creature of the mother coming at them and they both saw it. So now I got to believe that. Are people finally going to talk in this family? Like, hey, you've been seeing crazy shit? Yeah, I've been seeing crazy shit, too. All right, well, let's talk about it. Yeah, you know? They, they like dropped if, it a little bit, yeah. but it's not like full of conversations like yeah. one would have. You but feel I, like if this family could just like get together and sit down and actually talk, and Luke could say, hey, I know Nell, you know, she didn't do that to herself. Mm-hmm. And the sister could say, hey, I mean, we've completely kind of glossed over the fact that the sister went and touched Nell and saw what happened yeah, they haven't even and her reaction was like freaked out it wasn't just kind of, you know there was there was we more to it r- oh you, there you was think more, she saw the I think she on saw that? no I think she saw more than than yeah. just that like her reaction wasn't just like okay this is this is how things ended for my sister her reaction was like freaked out. Yeah. So there's a lot of answers that we need uh, that we need to get some closure to in the next upcoming episodes. And they've done such a good job with the show so far. I can't imagine like this is going to disappoint. You know, I just want to mention real quick, kudos to the writing, because your point is, and I'm banking on this, is what you just mentioned is what they want us as the audience to be saying like yeah. i want what you just said is what they want us to be saying at this point in the episodes yeah. so kudos to the writing on that yeah you can definitely tell it's done deliberately right yeah. you're not gonna be yeah. like oh we forgot <laughs> right. about that. yeah if we just take a step back <laughs> and be like, oh that's what the writers wanted us to do kudos <clears throat> all right guys well <laughs> for the appleton oak diamond dave devone i'm mason quinn this is bad medicine that was the haunting of hill house we're gonna see you guys on the next one can't wait We don't want to lose any more time. We've been trying for two years and four months. Oh, no. Intrauterine insemination. The sperm are injected directly into the uterus. And yes, outpatient. Let's start there. You're 39, Stephen. Mm-hmm. We'll test your sperm for count and motility percentage. And how far away are we from your period, Lee? It's unpredictable a week, maybe 10 days. Your cycle's unpredictable. Is that a problem? Possibly. Po- <sighs> Oh, what is he seeing? Very often it's manageable. I do like you that based on your test results, we go straight to in vitro. Will insurance help with that? Most companies won't cover IVF, but very often the genetic testing for the man. No. No. Uh. Huh. All right, so Stephen, when can we schedule your test? When did you last ejaculate? A week, maybe less. No, it's two weeks. We'll need to reschedule it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That was self-serve is what he's getting at. That's the oh, mom. no, that's the mom. Yeah, I was going to say, it'd be, it wouldn't make sense if it was now. we got to talk. They're all seeing stuff. Bella? Steve? 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 She plays a great older sister. In this. <laughs> <laughs> Just all the little <laughs> mannerisms and everything. Yeah. Totally what a family would do to each other. He hasn't used the credit card yet. They're going to send me an alert when he does. We can get a location from that. I hope. Ah, he genius. Just tries an ATM and doesn't trade. Oh, gosh, is, is he going to drive all the way across the country to get there? It wasn't mm-hmm. Luke. Who was it? Maybe one of your kids. Yeah, that makes sense. It's probably my kids. Or maybe it was the guy who just stole a car to put a needle in his arm. I'm worried about a lot more than that. What do you mean? I mean that suicides can cluster in families, especially twins. If they lose a twin, 
the odds go up, he may not be planning to come home. Where, where, where would he go? He could be anywhere. Come on, guys. Are you not putting it together where he's going? What's that? Mass uh, south of downtown. It's basically an open-air drug market. I remember it. Well, we can't f blame them for thinking the worst of what he's doing, yeah. right? Because years of that has been going on. That's true. What are you going to do? Drive in circles? Hope he's standing on some corner? We're really not going to tell them what we saw. Thank you. Yes, Someone brought it up. Somebody. <laughs> <laughs> your mom's going to go to your Aunt Janet's in a few days. Stay a bit. I could really use your help watching your brother and your sisters while she's away. Yeah, I got you. Okay. Oh, so they got crews in there taking care of the... Oh, that guy looks like he's working on fine details. Yeah, really detailing. I yeah, mean, that I is a massive home. Oh, it's... I mean, like... Mom? To, to take that on is... Of course you're safe with me. Oh, Mom! Who is she just talking to? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm fine, that? sweetie. I'm fine. Mm-mm. Symbolism there? Uh, it looks yeah. like a Sega controller. Okay, thanks. Huh, that was weird. Wonder what he was seeing there. I'm more intrigued by the warning game over. <clears throat> I'm looking for a beat up green Jeep. It's not one, but two Annie DeFranco bumper stickers, and I'm looking for it where I know he used to score. Nobody's bringing up that he might go to the house. house. So, um, <laughs> what's going on with you? They did everything else with what twins do, except for going to the house like Nell did. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And she'd say that without me, she'd become untethered and she'd float away up into the... And then without her, I would just, you know, crash, just drop right down to the ground. It's an interesting analogy. I haven't heard that one before. And Shirley came along and that moment on, we were on the same team. Yeah, I mean, we still fought sometimes, but it was, it was different. We fought with love. She she taught me that. Fight with love. Yeah, where you're... I'm going to have to remember that for my next argument. <laughs> I'm fighting with love, honey. <laughs> so whatever you need to fix... Between you and Lee, I really hope you do. That's all I, I that's all I really wanted to say. Candy, 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 candy. You sure you won't come with us? You guys have fun. Oh, cool, Mom, treating. candy. We'll bring her back some. Mom's had a very hard day. Would you stop that? I'm still disappointed you're not going as Captain Lane. Oh, I swear to God. <laughs> Can we talk when I get back? How? You'll be back at the hotel. Does she not want answers? I guess Stop. she thinks she knows everything. Let's go. Turn off the I understand light. stubbornness, but at some point, even if you're mad, that mad. Yeah, but I mean, that's her character. I love you. Though. She's very bullheaded. You guys have fun. Because at some point, I get it. You're, you're pissed, but don't you want to hear both sides just to kind of get yeah. some slight type of maybe yeah, you'd, closure? You'd think even out of anger, like, what was that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, the light's off. No trick-or-treaters. No candy here. I have a feeling that bell's not going to stop. Is it going to be Luke? The light's off. No, he wouldn't knock. Oh, the old ding-dong ditch. Oh, and the games begin with her. Oh, boy, <laughs> here we go. You didn't have to come. Yeah, I did. You really did. Yeah, I did, Steve. He's my son, you know? What am I, I, I don't know what I'd do if, if I lost him. Any of you. Jesus. Any more of you. Yeah. Your kids are the best thing in my life. You mean Aunt Janet's life? Oh, oh, shit. Everything I did, I, I did, did to protect, to protect you. us. I know. Just like you protected mom. Shoo. Uh, ouch. Smack. A skull cracked like a Dude, melon. No, she she did the when he just. Uh, oh, no more? All over the library. When she carpet. hit the desk, okay. Bruises on her upper arms because someone grabbed her pretty yeah. hard. Okay, Steve. And a contusion on the back of her head from being shoved into a yeah, Remember, oh. we saw that. Yep. She was sick in her mind, and the one person, one person that was supposed to take care of her didn't do a goddamn thing to get her help. I miss my mom. I miss her, too. 
convenient light changing there. Yeah, through the tunnel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So do you know where the paint and stuff is? Oh, why don't you ask your father? I did. He's busy. He said if it wasn't tagged for sale, I could do whatever I wanted. And it's not tagged for sale. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. This must have been Poppy's. Poppy Hill. She was William's wife. She was insane. Yeah, she looks kind of wild. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know her? She was just as crazy, just older. She was a beautiful young woman in her time, though. If you really want this to be a surprise for your mom, I'd suggest you don't work on it in your room. I mean, oh, he's here gonna we start, go. Yeah, he's going to start seeing something. Yeah, Poppy's not going to be happy that he's the painting her stuff. That and the TV's on? Yep. Always oh, look at all that. That black mold. Or is it dust and spider webs? Just paint right yeah. over it. Paint, paint right over it. It's... Yeah, it's got to be the mold. Just take the fucking candy. Door's gonna open, isn't it? Oh, now we got knocking. Looks like all the candy. That's still a there. pretty quick uh, yeah. ding dong and bail. How about you try another house? I'm not in the fucking mood. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Oh, there he is. There he is. Finally. Who is this guy? What the fuck do you want? Um, uh, I was just uh, coming to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you met yourself? So I chose to live there to help try and keep you warm. You fucking suck at apology. You don't have to live <laughs> in your guest house. I'm not some bohemian weirdo. I'm an adult. I am a fucking doctor. You're a fucking slut. All of us are just always helping you keep up this idea in your head that you're perfect Shirley and we're just a bunch of fuck ups fucking up perfect Shirley's perfect fucking life. Oh. oh. You do not just get to shut me out of your life. <laughs> Did you just punch me in the boob? <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. Laugh about it. If you kiss my husband, that's what you get. You get punched in the fucking boob and you get evicted from my fucking house. They both heard it. Yep. Can one of you say, do you hear that? Uh, eh. Oh, what? Oh. Is that Shirley's reflection? Yep. Oh, now they're oh, getting... Now it's getting real. Dude, have you noticed every time they're angry... This stuff happens yeah, to them all. It, it intensifies. Yeah, it's like the evil coming out in the anger. Okay, this is messed up. <laughs> I don't think we're done. I'm, I'm <laughs> thinking I'm brace myself. <sighs> Say you have you? Did you just hear that? Say it. I know their faces. She got an alert. It's gonna be an alert that Luke used the. No, it's not. I'm wrong. No, I don't think you're wrong. I don't think you're wrong. I think that was the phone call from the credit card company. Because now... now sure. Tell him where to go. He's at the house. He used the card at a gas station. 202, just east of Amherst. I'll text you the address. Amherst is on the way. Yeah, yeah, I, I know where it is, right? You guys are going to stay there. We're going to go to Amherst. I'm saying if he's stopping in Amherst, he's heading... Shirley, through. listen to me. You're going to stay put. You hear me? Tell them what happened. Thank you. Yeah. I'll text you. Ah. Some fucking kids playing a prank is what happened. You know it wasn't. Kids? Uh. You know that. That's not the only thing like that that's happened here tonight. I think Luke is going to the house. I think he is. Our family has a disease that's never been treated because it was easier to listen to your crazy story on Evil House. Steve just needs to pump the brakes a little bit. <laughs> 
uh, because you think that they'll just have the same imaginary sickness. They would. We all do. Nell was delusional, depressed. Luke's an addict. Shirley is a control freak. And Theo is basically a clenched fist with hair. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the house there's something wrong with our goddamn brains so yeah i'm never having children i made sure <gasps> oh dude vasectomy he oh, got he never snipped and didn't her. tell the wife oh yeah no. and he was the right he call never believe knew. me because if i ever doubted it oh my bullshit. god and he never told her right. and they just thought they were having problems and with it. that's why they're done that's why they're done oh my god which is probably what Before they just told us, but... Dude, that is bad. Nope. You didn't tell her? You didn't tell her. Nope. Oh, that is bad, bad. So she doesn't Want know. kids, I knew that. Oh, no. Tell her later, now's not the time. Then we were engaged, and then we were married. Oh, no. I couldn't say you. I this can't is my jeans. Oh my god. Jeans are rotten, Lee. So I, I, I didn't tell her. Yeah, because when the doctor goes in to check on them, oh, they're know. gonna be like, oh, you had a vasectomy. See, we're all fucking crazy. Okay, so she doesn't know. Crazy so it's crazy cranes. Oh my god. Well, I'm, well no, the wife so knows. Oh, two of us split. Split. Yeah. Tonight. But he just said right there. Almost half. Oh, she's wait. Be almost half of us. He just told the story of how many times he couldn't tell, tell me more about the kite and the line. Right, but that's why they're separated now. That's what's being yeah. insinuated. It, like he got gotcha. you. Tell yeah. her. Just tell me what a shitty husband I was. Go ahead. I'm so sorry. That's a. I'm just. That's pretty major. I'm so sorry. So. It's more layers, even in episode yeah. eight. That's how you've been. Uh... What did he oh. say? I'm, I just, I, I know you're taking a little vacation. Wanted to cheer you up. How long are you going to be gone? Oh, no. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. Just don't look at the pictures inside. Oh. Oh, it's oh. starting. She's seen something in the mirror. Oh. Whoa. This is an older picture. He would have been wearing a suit about an hour ago. Did he come in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Uh, uh, did he say anything weird or do anything? Filled up his Jeep. Green Jeep. That's right. And then he filled up some cans. Like He's going to burn He's it. He's going to burn the house down. Yep. He's burning the house down. Yep, mm -hmm. that's his plan. OK, can, can we him? just? Yeah. <sighs> Uh, are you going to tell him? I'm driving. No, 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 no. This is my rental. Do you even give yourself a full tank there, Steve? <laughs> Bought five cans of gasoline. He's not going there to kill himself. He's going to burn the house down. Well, that's a relief. He's in more danger now than he's ever been. And if he tries to burn it, it will defend itself. There's a lot you don't know. 20 years I've been holding the door closed because I knew there were monsters on the other side. Do you understand me? Not even a little. <laughs> Thank you. That house is the most dangerous place in the world for all of us. You think you know what you saw? You think you you know what you wrote? A little story about the vanity you painted for your mother? That's a, a story about a schizophrenic woman having a manic episode in front of a mirror. I don't understand what you wrote. Oh, I saw mom smash that glass. Let's go to the beginning, that little bit about the vanity and, and why you did it. You found the vanity in the game room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you walked by the man repairing the clock. And then you saw your mother looking into the twins' room, staring at their empty beds. Textbook dissociative episode. She was not well. No, no, not her. The man repairing the clock. What about him? Did we miss that? Little marks inside the clock. Scrapes, lines, divots. They're basically evidence of repairs that have been done to the clock and, and what the clock was. Antique clocks, you almost never have a repair record, so you have to learn how to read the witness marks so you can understand what was done to the machine and how it was meant to function. I had that clock evaluated by a professional before we even moved into the house. You hired a slew of workers toward the end. Not for that clock, I didn't. That's the ghost he saw. Yep. There was no man there, and certainly not one in old overalls with a handlebar mustache. That man wasn't there. So you see the marks, but you don't know how to read them. So that's I his ability. Build yep. you kids a treehouse. <gasps> oh. We were going to 
going to be there maybe yeah, eight why weeks. Would How would I even house? have the time to build you kids a goddamn treehouse? Maybe he was already there. There was no treehouse. And it was oh. perfect. It was the, We were saying yeah. it was the perfect treehouse. Going there, like now went there, like going to kill himself. This is all like the calm before the, the, the major cliffhanger in this. Yep. I'm not perfect, you know. I know. Dad and I were in your office. Forever House was on the floor, and we heard a noise under the desk. Not that. You already told me that. I was really drunk. Yeah. And the lights went out, and I didn't see. I was in the dark that whole night, and I just needed I am. Uh, I couldn't see him, if that makes any sense. You know what? Never mind. Forget I asked. Just... Easy, Cheryl. And we somehow managed not to try to each other's hey, spouses. that's not what this was about. It just isn't. So you were drunk and that's supposed to be okay? I'm telling you, I touched Nell's body the night before. Here we go. I don't, I'm I, trying to tell you. I don't you. need excuses. Bullshit. I saw ah! oh, What the fuck? Oh, bitch. Oh, fuck oh, me good. running. Oh, Holy that was good. Shit. Oh, that was good. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I can't wait to see that on playback. Good oh, that Lord. was good. God damn it. What the fuck? Oh, that was good. <laughs> oh, no. This damn show. <laughs> we all jumped huge we on were that. So, we were all leaning in, too. <laughs> See that, oh, Shirley? Do you fucking man. believe that? I oh. have seen a theme in this. Every time anger arises, yep. Nell is there. Yep. You know what happens when I touch people. A part of you knows it always has. I touched her, and I felt nothing. Nothing. And it spread, it spread everywhere in me, this nothing, until I couldn't feel anything anymore. I was just this dark... Soulless. Oh, it wasn't working anymore? And then the lights came on, and there he was, and I... I didn't see him. I didn't see him. He was a light in the darkness. He was a, a life preserver in the ocean. I just... I reached for him because I had to feel something. I had to feel anything. So fucking scared that I was going to lose the only sister that I had left. I am, I am so, I am so, so, so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please, just please. <sighs> Guys, I'm lucky to have a heart attack. <laughs> <clears throat> There's a lot of dialogue there, but my heart is still going about 200 miles an hour. <laughs> I mean, that, uh, dude, I think I just, I don't know if I just lost my voice screaming too. I serious, I'm not even kidding, dude. I think I just threw up my voice. <laughs> Hey, at least to kind of transition I'm, from I'm that. I'm not even kidding. Like, I'm, I'm not. Dude. Oh, oh, yeah, he's not. He, <laughs> he's he's going to torch it. Oh, well, okay. So oh, now the house is talking. It knows that the house is now a talking. back. And this is. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we're getting right into it. Not like any slow walk up to it. No, or... I mean, I'm not sure if marble floors will burn. That's right, Gen generate enough heat, get that wood. Get it, I'd get it on the staircase if I was. No way he gets it lit. No way. It didn't Whoa. go. Yeah, it won't burn. What? It won't let it burn. That is <clears throat> crazy. Get the hell out. Oh, what? Oh, there's mom. Is Get that, out. Is that mom or is that no? I no, that's mom. from here. <clears throat> I can't tell from here. Like, I'm far back. <laughs> that's mom. Yep. Get out. Okay. Is the house on fire? And he's going to... Oh, okay. what is this now? Oh! oh! Grr, come on. That's oh. going to be the end or two, isn't it? <clears throat> Damn it, it is. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> What an episode that one was compared to the last one. Just a sprint. What a banger. What, what, 57 minutes on that? Wow. <sighs> Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. You saw a reaction there to the car scene, and that was... The last couple of jump scares didn't get me. That one obviously did. And... Just what a, you know, here we thought it'd be so simple. Oh, just go there and burn the house down. And here, you know, five gallons of gasoline and nothing. Just it flamed out and then done. And then we saw somebody 
get a whole handful of Luke's head and we don't know how that ended if if that was his demise or if there's something more to that story obviously you saw the mom there but things are just they just picked up at a at a pace so we are just sprinting to the finish everybody's converging on the house uh there's a lot of truth coming out now between uh the you know the, the father and son and the two the two sisters they're they're starting to finally uh, open up about that so I just think that, man, we are in for a treat in these last uh, two episodes, I think it is. going to be outstanding. Thank you to everybody who recommended this one. First, let me get that jump scare. Let's talk about that. <laughs> Dude, that was wild. My heart's still going. <laughs> was not. And if, uh, out of all this episode, that was going to be the last spot. I was expecting anything to happen in oh. for a jump scare, and it got us good. Right I can't wait to them. see that on playback. Uh <laughs> The, the Steve and the father uh, the, talk about a lot of dialogue uh, yeah. information dump right there uh, that we knew something yeah, was up with that tree house. He saw a ghost <clears throat> in the clock and he wasn't there and then he never even did the tree house. Yeah, because Oak and I mentioned, oh, that guy's doing some fine detail and then the whole time it's been a ghost. Yeah. But uh, the, the, so the, the dialogue between the father or between Hugh and uh, Steve was great. Of course, finally we get the truth of what Theo felt, which was mm. nothing. Basically, soulless body, right? Yep, it just sucked uh, everything out of her. Yeah, the, the, and then of course, uh, this whole episode felt like from the last one. It was basically we're putting the pedal to the metal here. Uh, again, I was wildly surprised when I was saying nothing's going to happen. I thought like <laughs> someone's going to come in and like knock the the lighter out of his hand and oh, it won't start. Yeah. I did not expect for. No flames. No, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that in a movie ever where somebody tries to burn something. It just doesn't work. I mean, can you, that would Brilliant. be just defeating. Like, all right, you come in there, fuck this house, yep. boom, and then nothing's like, I would have been out the door. Yeah. Just after that, like, all right, Real. plan B. <laughs> a wild episode, folks. I might have, I'm still uh, reeling on that one. I, just wild. Yeah, I, um, <clears throat> I literally... You guys hurt. I'm, yeah. I'm not even. I literally lost my. Like I had my a week and a half ago. I lost my voice when I came home from a work trip, and I got it back a few days later. And I was fine for the last four or five days. I literally screamed so loud, I literally just screwed up my voice. Uh, so that jump scare got me really, really good. I can't believe that I just lost my voice <clears throat> from a jump scare. Um, tried grabbing some water. That didn't fix it. But this was a crazy episode. Um, you know. All along, we've kind of been led to believe that, you know, uh, Shirley didn't really ever have any of the mental issues. Uh, uh, Theo had the visions, and, you know, we know Nell saw the bent neck lady, and Luke, from when he was very young, had, had visions too. Then we found out a few episodes ago that Luke, you know, felt something with, with, uh, with Nell's passing. But this is when we start realizing like okay sure is here in the house like shake and knock and but it was the first big reveal that like a lot of the stuff steve wrote in his book that his dad never told him about like didn't exist yeah that was and that crazy. was a huge drop and i guess you know the thing with the tree house is i think you know we commented on how nice it was but at the same time i don't think you think too much about it because of how massive the mansion is mm -hmm. you know like obviously a bigger tree house than excuse me any normal kid would have but when you have a house that's that big but the dad brought up a really good point like uh, i went to build the tree house yeah. there was no tree house yeah, we weren't gonna so stay we there. find out that uh that Eight steve's been house. doing that <laughs> um the the reveal that steve you know got that snipped show. after <clears throat> college and lied to his wife i mean that um it says a lot about a person's character um, especially that he didn't tell her and she was so upset that it wasn't happening. I mean, that's, that, that, that's that pretty, it's pretty brutal. And, yeah. <clears throat> you know, especially as, you know, as, as a man or a woman starts to get older and there starts to become more risks involved and, uh, you know, less chances for success. Um, that was really a real, you know, you know, a, a real bomb to drop. And it kind of makes, you know, you look at him different, like, you know, like, dude, like that was not not the right thing to do but i mean at least the thing that's happening is there's conversations coming out like everybody realizes that everybody else was seeing these same things now you know steve just thinks that their family is is crazy but you go back to 
other people have experienced the same things yeah. who have lived in the house. So we know it's the house. Um, that ending was pretty wild, but I'm not convinced. Here's my little take on the ending, and I could be completely wrong. So Luke goes to set the house on fire, and he sees the mom on the stairs. And I'm wondering if, like, the house is actually on fire, and the mom is, like, there to lead him in. And they're going to get to the house, and it's going to be on fire, and he's inside it. Mm. You know, like... That is where Nell passed, and Luke is there, and he's going out with the house. Because the father did mention it. If he, <clears throat> essentially, if you attack the house, the house is going to yeah, attack. Yeah, so I, I feel like maybe the house is on fire. Or that was just we're getting his point of view. But then it was crazy just to see that figure behind him. Uh, that ironically figure was enough, in the picture, right, with Aunt, uh, I don't know. Aunt Janet? Yeah, when, was, was that the, the crazy woman that talked about going to the asylum? And where yeah, <coughs> Steve and, Aunt, and Janet were talking, right? Yeah. yeah. Ironically enough, the, 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 the figure coming up behind Luke, you know, like, because we had just saw the mom, it was a little bit of a jump scare. But that jump scare in the car is like, the, like you said, they're having a conversation just... The, the last minute you'd expect it, and we were so like invested. I mean, I was a, a jump scare, <laughs> leaning in serious enough to cause me to lose my voice. Um, so this episode was Jeez. wild, you know, like we had commented on the previous episode, like it seemed like it was more of a story development episode with the house and you know, some of the mental issues they were facing in this episode just. <laughs> So, um, I cannot wait to see what the final two episodes are going to bring. And, you know, you've, you've, with some shows, you feel like there's a sense of predictability. Like, okay, I see where this is plot is going. Yeah. I have zero clue no. whatsoever where they're going with any of this. I mean, they could all make it. They could all not make it. The house could be destroyed. The house could not be destroyed. <laughs> Any one of those things could happen, and there's no direction I mean, that's I mean, favoring either one, any of them. Is any of it real? I mean, is, is any of it real? Is is this? I mean, maybe all this is one of maybe this is one of Steve's books. Maybe this whole series uh, is one of Steve's. The, the it better not credit's be. It's going to be the pages closing on the book. What better not this, be. Dude, what no if this way. whole story is just one of Steve's books? No, I'm not going to believe that yet. Oh, if I think Can't people be. would be angry about That'd be that. this show. The, the writing on this would is it way be too angry good for... or would it be brilliant if this was like anger. how he wrote his <laughs> I think book it'd be anger. and he wrote it'd himself be anger. into a book? Oh. It'd be oh, I'd I anger out of this guy. That's for sure. <clears throat> Uh, well, we will have to wait and find out because this has been Bad Medicine. That's the Appleton Oak Diamond Day of the Moment. I'm Jason Quinn. We're going to see you guys on the next Haunting of Hill House. Boo.